Week four is in the books. We had a lot of good games. Some of our members lost, but they kept those games really close. So let's just jump right into it this week. We'll start off with Memphis. How'd you guys do versus an SEC Missouri team? Why do you even start with us, Commissioner? Why? Why? You know how the game went. We were an embarrassment of the conference. Missouri's not that great of a football team. We should have won. We should have beaten them. Those SEC officials are definitely biased towards their conference. Oh, look at that. Memphis complaining about fishing. That's real rich, considering the fact is they were ragging on us about the officiating when we lost to Ohio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I definitely remember that coming from them there, FAU. At least they made their game close, FAU. We won our game versus Rice and dominated for most of the game. You couldn't even beat a lowly Big Ten school that hasn't had a successful season since Reagan was in the White House. I want to call that dominating win. It was close for a while there, USF. We just made too many mistakes and you took advantage of. Whatever, Rice. A win is still a win no matter how big or how small it is. As much as I hate to say it, I have to agree with the USF on this one. It was a tough victory for us against Northern Illinois. Those boys can play. Very true on that there. Very true on that there, Tulsa. But let's look at some of these other games. Some of these other games, especially against big name schools, were actually really close. And even though the score didn't appear close, some of our teams did very well. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate that. But I still didn't like how we performed. We should have made a lot more points on that game, but we didn't. You're welcome, Charlotte. You looked very good versus Florida on that game on Saturday night. Uh, moving on, UAB, SME, you guys were in some very good games there. And UAB, you look very good yourself. I wish I could agree with you, Commissioner, but we look like absolute crap. And Georgia took away that game early, and we just barely caught up towards the end. But we did have some great plays against their defense early on in that game, though. This coming from a team that said they were going to run the conference right there, Memphis. Not now, USF. I'm still pissed. Very true, UAB. SMU, you were in that game until the very end, weren't you? Very true, Commissioner, but... Man, those boys from TCU hit hard, and they hit fast, and they hit very often. And no wonder they were picked to go back to the playoffs, but we almost had them. Oh, I wish we could say the same for us there at SMU. Man, we are hurting. Yeah, what happened there, UTSA? You were predicted to win the conference. Now you're struggling to win games. What's going on down there in San Antonio? Injuries and not gelling down with the players that we had to replace with. Yeah, but I'm like FAU. I cannot wait for the bye coming up. We definitely need to get healthy and prepare for conference play after next, this week. Yeah, and with UTSA on this one, I'm looking forward to this bye week I got coming up to get some of my more regular day players healthy and take a look at some of the other guys because we definitely need it for conference play coming up. We're going to make a bowl. Understandable, understandable. Temple, we're not even going to go over your game. We know, all saw what happened, but at least you tried. Thank you, Commissioner, but there was a lot going on out there, especially with the emotions going on with us losing our president. So we were trying to make her proud, but we weren't happy with the result. We should have been a lot closer in that game. Very true, very true. So let's go on to two of the teams that seem to have the best week of uh, this week so far. Uh, we'll start with Tulane. Outstanding win versus... An opponent right there from an FCS school. How did you feel you did? We made some mistakes that we shouldn't have been able to make, but we actually felt we did our, our job out there in the field. We're looking forward to getting the conference play here soon and making a run for the title. Great. I'm glad to hear it. So, ECU, we now turn our attention to you. Let's give you a round of applause for pitching on a shutout for the conference this week. Very nicely done. Uh, so tell us about it. Thank you. I mean, it was a lowly FCS goal, but we looked good. We're getting ready for conference play, though. We're definitely also looking forward to our bye coming up as well. We need to get some players healthy for the long conference schedule. Great. Glad to hear it. Uh, Tulsa, Temple. You're kicking off conference play for most of us on Thursday night on ESPN. We should expect a good matchup between you two. You're very two good squads. We'll, everyone will be watching you besides the NFL game between the Packers and the Lions on Thursday night prime. Uh, so if there's anything else, 
Uh, let's wrap up the meeting today. Uh, yeah, Commissioner, where's Navy at? They were given an excuse to miss this meeting. Something dealing with a classified operation, all of that. All right, welcome fellow Navy members to their classified meeting about the Navy ball next month. This is a preparatory meeting. Get ready for the thing. Uh, submarine Force. 